Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be telling you a really interesting story between the great painter Pablo Picasso and Turkish artist Fikret Moala. After, we're gonna create a new artwork inspired from the two big artists. First of all, I would like to tell you a little bit about the sensational life of Fikret Moala. He was born in Istanbul in 1903. Fikret Moala dreamed of becoming a football player in his childhood because of his uncle, actually. He was a football player in Fenerbahce. He will later design the logo of Fenerbahce, which is still used today. Fikret's interest in visual art is developing in this period also. Fikret Moala was an ordinary kid who liked to play football. When he was a child, he got really bad injured on the football field. After that, he gonna limp all his life because of this situation. In 1918, there was a really big pandemic just like today. It was a Spanish flu. Spanish flu which affected all of the Europe at the end of the First World War. It was also common in Istanbul too. At that time, every family in Europe at least lost one member from the Spanish flu. For example, the famous Norwegian artist Edvard Munch survived the Spanish flu. He even painted a self-portrait when he caught Spanish flu. I recommend you take a look at my video about Edvard Munch. There is also an English subtitles. These days we can easily reach the information thanks to technology. But at that time, when students continued their school despite the pandemic, Fikret Moala, who was a high school student at Galasar High School, survived the Spanish flu he was caught but lost his mother due to the same illness. Fikret Moala, who thought that he caused the death of his mother, at that time started to experience the first symptoms of mental illness. His father's remarriage shortly after his mother's death his father, Mr. Ekram, decided to let him go to Switzerland for engineering education. When he was studying engineering in Switzerland, he became interested in painting. Then he enrolled at the Berlin Academy of Fine Art. After a short while, Fikret Moala worked as an art teacher in Istanbul and Ival. After all, he moved to France in 1939. Due to the outbreak of World War II and the cop with the economic crisis, he painted his paintings on colored papers and even on posters he snacked out at night. And he started to sell these paintings for nothing in markets, cafes or parks. It is said that he met Picasso in a park while he was still in such a station. However, 1939 didn't start like this for Fikret Moala. In 1939, while he had the Pablo Picasso 40 years of his art exhibition, Fikret Moala participated in the International New York Exhibition with about 30 paintings showing the district of Istanbul. Now it's time to tell you the story of the painting Picasso gave to Fikret Moala as a gift. In 1947, Moala was going through quite trouble days. The master painter who had many health problems. He was in a very difficult economical situation also. Those days, Fikret Moala had an exhibit in the park. He was a peddler. He was hoping to sell his paintings. A man came across to him and bought a painting. He was a Pablo Picasso. Fikret Moala and Pablo Picasso first met in the park and then they will met in the art gallery. After, Picasso invites the Fikret Moala to his studio. In the studio, Picasso tells Moala that if he has something he likes, he can get it. Thereupon, Moala says that he likes a woman's hat painting and Picasso gave it as a gift. Picasso, who doesn't like to share his painting with anyone, even has difficulty sharing his painting when he sells them. He was really influenced by Fikret Moala's art and he gave one of his paintings. On the back side of the painting, it writes, With love to my dear friend Fikret Moala. Let's take a look at the art of Picasso in this period. In 1947, Picasso is the most mature period of his art. It has been 8 years since the Guernica masterpiece. The artist continues to work on the old theme in painting and lithographs. On March of 1947, he inspired by the works of the German painter Lukas Karana. He started the working on lithographs. 
During this period, he is in different searches by being influenced by various artists. At such a time, he saw the childish traces in Moalna's paint. In May, he gives 10 important works to be exhibited at the George Pompidou Center in Paris. In this artwork, I'm gonna inspire from Picasso's sculptures. These are kind of cubic sculptures. So I'm gonna use this style for making a figure and I'm gonna mix with Fikret Moala's Jazz Orchestra. So I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create a sign uh, combining Picasso's figures and 3D figures and trying to copy off Fikret Moala's Jazz Orchestra. By the way, you need these materials. When we create our artwork, and I'll tell the rest of the story. Piquet Moala leaves Picasso's studio. On the way, he came across the lady. She was an old friend from his first days in Paris. She was a cunning art trade. The Picasso painting in Moala's hand immediately catches her attention. Firstly, he didn't want to sell the painting of Picasso's gift. Fikret Moala was probably not consequences enough to sell the painting, but like many painters, he never had income that would literally give himself the painting. When he considered his health problems and economic situation, Moala sells the painting for 15,000 francs and a 15-day stay in this art trader. Moala talks about the dissertation in the following years. I gave the Picasso painting more than its value, but I lived like a prince for 15 days. My health improved, so I have no regrets. At this time, this sales saved my life. He says he doesn't feel sorry for him to sell the painting. However, when he French art lover and collector Engels, who had protected and supported Moalina for many years after Lee, when she came to Istanbul in 1970, she said that she found the painting in Switzerland. She wanted to buy it but couldn't it. Doesn't Picasso give a painting to Moalina show the artist value? How many people did Picasso give a painting as a gift? In 1953, when the imbalance in his behavior started to increase gradually, he stayed and in hospital. During his two months in the hospital, the art trader Dina Verne, who doesn't leave his alone, often being his art materials and makes he let painting constantly. These paintings are exhibited a few months later in Verne's art gallery called Gallery Dina Verne. Although the exhibition is very successful, he cannot get his rights from the disease painting. In 1954, he met Raquel Engels, a famous collector. She ensures that Moala is taken out of the mental hospital and supports him by pushing his paintings. Then she made him moving the hotel room. Moala continues to paint under the patronage of Engels. They settle with the Mrs. Engels in their farm in the village of Berlin in the south of the Alps. Moala who pursued more than 300 works for Engels. After Lee, he died on July 1967. Seven years later, his grave was brought to Istanbul by Emel Kortürk, who is wife of Fahri Kort, the president of the Turkey at that time. Fikret Moala was the art teacher of Mrs. Emel when she was in high school.
So I put here a 3D figure from Pablo Picasso and I create sign from Fikret Moala. Maybe you can add here one more 3D figure maybe from Picasso or even Fikret Moala. Thank you for watching video. See you on next video. Bye.